So it wasn't long ago that I filmed a video about this, the Kuat Piston Pro X, and I forgot one thing. Moreover, I forgot one criticism about it. And please allow me to demonstrate. So these are the adjustable wheel locks, let's call them. Um, this is what you would set to the uh, height of the tire, even though it's not printed on the rear rack, Kuat looking at you. Um, however, when you do get a bike in there, there is a noticeable rattle. And what that is, is that's the actual mechanism moving laterally within this hoop and making metal and metal contact from both the inside of the hoop to the inside of this adjuster. But what we're gonna do today is on the back here, we're gonna remove these two little tabs that help keep that assembly in. And we're going to add some of this. This is the Gorilla Crystal Clear Gorilla Tape. And it is a clear tape that has a bit of a thicker quality to it. And we're gonna add that on the inside in hopes of cutting down on the rattle noise without actually adding a new friction point. So let's try it out. So Kuat has chosen to use Allen as its fastener of choice. And I am really hoping that it is a metric because Kuat is located in the USA, but all cycling components are metric and we're not off to a good start already. That was a three. Let's try a two and a half. Ooh, good work, Kuat. Very nice. It is on there quite tight. Again, keeping in mind, I have not done this before. So, there we go. There we go, that goes sideways, and out we go. All right, so we can see here, this is the face on the inside. This is what we're going to be applying the tape to on the inside of this slider rather than the full inside length of the arm. Now, it is worth noting that these components can come out and there is a spring in there, so just be mindful of that. But we are going to remove them because it will make applying the tape easier. And of course, once those are out, we can just slide the spring right out as well. So now we're just gonna repeat that process on the remainder of the four. So this was washed recently. So I just have some Kleenex here that I'm going to come in and I'm gonna clean out the dirt as you can see here and any remaining water residue from the uh, surface where we're going to apply the tape to. And then once we're done this, we're going to apply some alcohol just in the form of a hand sanitizer to remove any uh, residual oils that might be left behind. And now for the alcohol. Just a little bit will do. So here's a close look at uh, what the actual inside looks like. So you can see that we have it nice and clean. This in here is going to be our mating surface, but we're going to have to pay uh, attention or be mindful to cut a notch around where the actual pin is going to come in and out of because we don't want to interfere with that mechanism. So we're looking really for a L-shaped um, uh, notch uh, in the actual tape itself 
just to at, uh, be able to clear all the mechanisms while maintaining that um, noise reduction. First done, and one down, and eight more to go. <laughs> so that's all eight of these done, and it's time to reinstall. And there we have it. So everything is reinstalled. And let's take a listen how this sounds. It still does make an audible knock, but what is most noticeable is that it is uh, not as uh, tingy as it was before. Now, this was just a first attempt, uh, an experiment of sorts. If this still continues to bother me, then what I can do is, I can come through and I can wrap the tape all the way around the top and around to the other side as well. For now, I just did it on the inside to cut down on that lateral shifting, but as you would expect, it's going to knock kind of all the way around. Um, I didn't want to interfere with the sliding of mechanism and having it become grippy, but as you can see right now, it still works perfectly fine. So that's everything for this video. As always, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you haven't seen the original review of this video, definitely go back and check that one out because I talk about a lot more of the features, the pros and the cons um, of this particular Piston Pro X rack. But if you have this rack and you've experienced this jiggling and knocking sound, hopefully this might give you uh, some ideas yourself for how you might want to fix it, whether that is the Gorilla crystal clear tape method that I've done here today, or whether that's another method, then hopefully this has been of some assistance to you. If so, please consider hitting that like button. And if you like mountain bike content, um, specifically to do with product reviews and cycling itself, then be sure to subscribe because we've got plenty more vi great videos like this to come. So thank you very much. You take care and bye for now.